Hey guys, Billy here. I'm going to be trying a new uh, type of video idea that I think might do pretty well, but we'll see. It's going to be a tutorial in Cinema 4D to create this kind of effect. It's um, used with a sphere and uh, the displacer and I'll teach you guys how to get it. It's like sort of like a sphere with like spikes coming out of the top. I don't know. It's pretty abstract. I like it. So uh, let's see. Let's start a new project. And I'm just going to use, bring in a little, all right, let's see here. Get a studio from Grayscale Gorilla. You could download that, search for it online. The Window Light Studio. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Gonna zoom in a bit here. You can use any light studio you'd like, any any one of your choice. I just prefer this one because it has nice reflections and I don't know. I like it. Okay, let me replace this. You're gonna want to create a sphere. You're gonna want to click and hold up here, go to sphere. You're gonna want to bring it up. Maybe enlarge it if you like. Just make it how you like it, guys. Size, comparison, everything. Okay, once you got your sphere, let me just line it up a bit here. I'm working on a laptop and I'm using the touchpad, so this is why it's taking me a little while. Sorry, guys. Okay, so once you got your sphere here, I'm just going to bring it up here. Okay, you're going to want to go up to the, this little effect icon here, click and hold and go to displacer. Then you're going to want to make the displacer a child of the sphere. So you're going to want to click and hold on the displacer and wait, bring it down to the sphere and wait till the arrow is pointing down, then let go. There we go. And nothing's going to happen just yet because you got to mess with a few settings. You're going to want to go to shading, to the shader and go to noise and what that does it kind of gives it like a random sort of effect like r I don't know uneven edges and it sort of makes it look like a rock um, next you're gonna want to go to object Wait, I'm sorry guys not object okay go to sphere bump up the segments a little it just I don't know I think it looks better if you bump it up a little maybe 27 28 you wanna go to the displacer and then you're going to want to, you know, make it how you want it. Bump up the height a little. And, I don't know, just give it any kind of effect you want. And something else you could do, if you just want it in a specific area, you can go to, let's see here, the fall off. And you can go to shape and turn that into a box. You can just spread it out like this. Make it nice and big. Okay, you can bring the box up anywhere you like it. As you can see, like whatever's in the box will get affected by the displacer. So let's see here. If I wanted to bring the spikes to the top, I can go to, well, let me just make the spikes more noticeable for this video. Okay, there we go. All right, if I want to bring the spikes to the top, you just click on the displacer. You're going to want to bring it up there. Yeah, now all the spikes are on the top. Now, let me turn off global illumination really quick. If we render that out, kind of gives it like a spiky effect and like it sort of has kind of rough edges. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a big fan of that. So we're going to go up to here click and hold and go to hyper nerves oh, I did that twice okay hyper nerves then you're gonna wanna br click and hold and bring the sphere up to hyper nerves and if I render that out now it sort of gives it like a softer effect you know not as jagged not as uh, not as sharp uh, I don't know you can mess around with it you know make your own make your own ideas maybe you'd like them in the middle I don't know, you can do some pretty interesting things uh, with this effect. So, I don't know, you want to make a material. Uh, let's make it black like I had it last time. 
And we're going to add a reflection. Bring that down a bit. Fresnel. Bring the mix strength down. And that should do it. Bring it up. And I don't know. You can, like I said, you can put the camera anywhere you'd like it. All right, so I'm going to render this out with a global illumination on. And once it's done rendering, I'll definitely uh, put a picture at it at the end of this vid video. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, first tutorial. <laughs> Hopefully it was helpful. It was, uh, you know, pretty difficult for me since I've never done anything like this. But hopually I'll get better at it in time. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hope this helped you out. See ya.